Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. So if I had to ditch everything when it comes to building my social media business except one business building activity, what would it be? Now, before I share this, if you are new here, my name is Tanya Johnson. I've been working full-time on social media since 2016. As you can tell right now, we currently live at the pool most of the time, especially during the summer. We're in South Carolina. We relocated from Chicago to South Carolina um, 18 months or so ago now. The weather is amazing. We love the pretty much year round pool time minus like two to two and a half months during the year. And what I specialize in is helping moms balance all things marriage, motherhood, and money. So this channel is for all of the moms who are doing all the things and really living that hashtag boss mom life. So here we go. If we are going to ditch everything except one thing when it comes to building a social media business, that one thing is going to be videos. Building an online business, you're going to get dozens, if not hundreds of people telling you their opinion on how you should build your business. Before you know it, your schedule is going to be just as booked as when you had your nine to five job. Now take it from somebody who went from the nine to five life to working from home part time with that nine to five to being able to transition into owning my time full time working from social media. Having a packed schedule is not what you want. So if I could roll up all of my tricks into one little ball and give you this one piece of advice, it is that videos are going to make you the most money in the long run because people relate to videos. So if I had to drop everything and only do one income producing activity every single week, it would be videos. Now that means I would ditch the carousel posts, I would ditch the static posts, I would ditch the cute little quotes that people put on their Facebook and their Instagram pages. I would throw the cold messaging in the trash and I would leave the stories to the birds. Now if you have time to do all of those things, I'm not telling you you can't do all of them. I'm telling you if you are limited on time and you have to cut down to only doing one thing, that videos need to be at the tip, tip top of that list. Videos allow people to see your personality. They let people like, know, and trust you, which is going to help them seal the deal and buy from you a lot faster. Now, you cannot just post any video on social media and expect to get results. You have to have the proper content and be following the proper format. So the freebie that I put together for you today is a video strategy planner. You can download that down in the description area under the show notes link. Now we're going to talk about different types of videos that you should be posting. But as far as the actual content, I suggest you following the fresh method. If you have not taken a look at my video on how to come up with fresh content for your social media, fresh is an acronym, by the way. Also going to be linked down in the show notes completely for free. You can check out both of those things. You can get that free video strategy planner. You can also get that tutorial on how to make your content fresh on social media. So what we're going to do today is go over the different types of videos that you should be posting. So there are three types of videos that every content creator needs to be posting on a regular basis. The first one is long form, and that's what you're watching right now. Now I realize that you are watching me on YouTube. However, unless you are actively building an email list, I would highly recommend posting these long form videos directly to your social media. So this could be hitting the live button that is going to get you the best results, or it could be pre-recording a video and uploading it to social media until you've built your social media up to a relatively large following, or you decide you want to build an email list in which I would take the long form videos and transition over to YouTube and blog instead. But for now, we're talking about social media. So a long form video is going to be anything from three to five minutes and higher. Now you're going to have a scroll stopping title, which we talked about in that video planner, how to come up with a title that's actually going to get people to see it and watch your video versus just kind of scroll on past. You're going to have a 30 to 60 second introductory, no more. We're not having a bunch of dead air in the beginning. We're not telling people to wait until people hop on. When they see your video, they want to get meat right away. So they're not waiting around for three to five minutes while you're waiting for everyone and their mom to come on so you can get those vanity views before you start talking. And then during that 30 to 60 second intro, not only are you going to tell them what the video is about, but you're going to tell them why they need to watch until the very end. And then at the end, you're going to have a very clear call to action. In my case, that's when I always give you those three action steps that you can take off right away and apply them to your business. So the first type of video content you want to make is the long form video. 
Those are going to be very value based pieces of content. And again, go into the show notes, download that free video strategy planner. It's going to give you all the tools you need to make really good videos that people are lining up to watch. Now, what these videos are not, are not videos talking about the product that you want them to buy or the team that you want them to join. Nothing is gonna kill your engagement faster than someone clicking on a video that has a really awesome title and all you're trying to do is sell them something. Now, what you can do and what works really well is dripping. Dripping literally just means that you are putting out some of the products that you sell but in a very subtle way, you're kind of mentioning them. So for example, a lot of you are thinking like, oh, I don't know what I would make videos about. I don't even know what my brand is. So if I was gonna drip, this is what I would say. Some of you are thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. I don't even know what my audience is. How do I figure out what videos that I'm gonna put out and what people are actually gonna tune into? Well, my new client, Tasha, was struggling with the exact same thing. She actually got on one of our 45 minute strategy calls. And what this is, is you get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. I give you a 30,000 foot overview of what your business should look like. And I typically can look at your socials in five to 10 minutes and figure out, okay, what have they done well? What are they struggling with? And what can I do to help them get from point A to point Z? She got on a 45 minute strategy session with me. And in less than 45 minutes, she had 10 videos ironed out that not only are gonna bring more eyes onto her content, but we talked about how she can drip her products in each one of them to where she's gonna absolutely get sales by doing those free videos as well. Now, if that's something you're interested in, again, you can go down to the description section and there is an area that you can book a 45 minute strategy call. So you see how I just dripped that? This whole video was not me trying to pitch you on why you should do a 45 minute strategy session with me, which by the way, if you wanna do that, that's awesome. If not, I'm not gonna twist your arm. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how to deliver really good video content. Now, I happen to mention a product that I sold because it talked directly to a pain point I was talking about. So that's what dripping is. It's pretty easy to drip in long form, not so much in some of the other forms we're gonna talk about, but long form is basically really high value content that you're putting out, dripping a product or two in there and then giving a really good call to action. Now, the second type of video that every creator should be posting on a regular basis are called short form, also known as TikToks, Reels, whatever short form video content that you consume. Now, there are several different reasons for this. The top one is just to get engagement. So right now, the ones that perform the best are the funny ones, the ones that have humor behind them. So doing little skits, voiceovers, anything that's funny that is directly related to your niche that are going to be typically 30 to 90 seconds are kind of the window. You can do up to three minutes on most platforms, but 30 to 90 is kind of the sweet spot. Doing those consistently is gonna get a lot more people onto your page, which is going to allow them to see more of your long form videos and any other content that you're putting out. Now, while I said humor definitely performs the best when it comes to short form, you can also do the value packed short form videos as well. Those can be standalone videos. So videos where you set up your camera and you are talking directly to for 30 to 90 seconds where you're giving a piece of value based content. Or it can be videos like this where when I take and edit this, I'm going to chop it up and I'll probably get two to five reels out of this one long form piece of content. So I can easily chop it up, put it up on my Instagram and my Facebook and use it to drive people to my long form video, which is where I'm gonna be dripping my paid content. So you can do short form either way, you can do standalone or you can chop them up from long form videos that you do. So first type of videos, long form, I highly recommend every creator doing that consistently. Ideally, you want to do once a week or so for a long form video. Short form, which is the second type, you ideally want to post daily, if not two to three times a day, when you are growing your platform. Now, don't hear that and think, oh man, I don't have time to do that. I can't grow. I didn't say that. I said ideally. There are times, I'm in a season right now, where I post a short form video two, three, four times a week because I'm not super worried about growing my Instagram or my Facebook right now. I'm really focused on nurturing my email list at this point. I have grown enough in size. Now I'm really focused on just getting that value-based content and making sure that I'm delivering what I promised when people either subscribe to my social media channels or they added themselves onto my email list. So 
Keep that in mind as well. When you're growing, post a lot. When you decide you're not growing for whatever reason, you can back off and focus on another area of your business. Now, the third type of video that I recommend every creator using are funnel videos. Now, these are the videos that are attached to the freebies that you have people download. So when you have someone go to your landing page, and typically once they click submit to be sent, whatever it is that your you know, automated email processor has set up on the back end, then they're going to be redirected either to a confirmation screen saying, thanks so much, you're, you're free to be able to deliver, or to whatever page you want them to. So this is a really great way to get instant sales by redirecting them to a funnel video, which is just you in a video saying, thank you so much for downloading your resource, that it should be delivered to you in three to five minutes. While you're waiting, let me tell you about this other additional resource that I think you'll really like. And you're gonna give them either like a discount if they, if they order before you get off of that screen or some kind of incentive to like take action with you now. So videos are a great way to close a sale when you are not one-on-one -on -one talking to them in a personal message. So three ways that you can use videos right away to drive people to your business. I hope that helped. I'm gonna give you three different action steps that you can take as soon as this video is over. The first one is go down in that show notes and make sure you download that free video strategy planner. Also, if you have not watched that fresh tutorial, go ahead and watch that while you're down there. The second one is go ahead and write down three to five topics that you can easily talk about, that you're passionate about, that your brand aligns with, however you wanna figure this out. And again, those strategy sessions are always open if that's something that you need. And then write out how you would make that into a video using that video strategy planner. So if you wanna talk about cats, I guarantee that video strategy planner will help you turn that into a really good video and sell whatever it is that you're selling. If you wanna talk about fitness or motherhood or postpartum or homeschooling or science or hair care or whatever, that video strategy planner can take you from a topic to a full-fledged video. So you wanna make sure that you have that and that you're utilizing it. And then number three is I want you to not overthink this. When you have your video written down, go on your Facebook, go on your Instagram, hit the live button and just start talking. You're probably gonna suck. I sucked absolutely in the beginning. So don't overthink it, just do it. And when you do it, I would love if you tagged us at the Boss Mom Co. I will come and give you some hearts, watch your video, give you some love. And if it relates to my audience, I'll even share it out for you to help get more eyes on your page. So this is Tanya Johnson with the Boss Mom Co. Hope y'all like this video and I will see you again next week.